you know what? Because I missed a few days of posting, I'm gonna go ahead and put another video out. All right, looks like um, Martin Lewis Resurrected posted a video and it's called Queen Nyjah Admits It regarding I am just a uh, airy. Airy, right? Yeah. Number one. I don't know what number one means, but I'm pretty sure it's probably like a series that he's about to put out. I don't know. But let's go ahead and watch this video and see what this is about. 2019 had a lot of drama and it seemed that like so far, 2020 has brought a lot of good things. A lot of people had started making videos like Dear this person that they had beef with in the past. This week I'm gonna try my best to go through all of them. And since I covered a lot of these people's drama, I feel it's important to get into it and talk about it. So today we're gonna to talk okay. about Airy and Queen Nigel's beef. Dive into it, talk about the two videos that they made. Cause at the end of the day, is it all sincere or is it all fake just uh. to gain a couple of uh. subscribers and some clout? So, I think some of these videos are just for clout and for vi and for views and just for the attention. And I think others are for real. Let's get straight into the drama. It all started when Ari started uploading videos and she had one called Dear Queen Nija and the Mafia Gang, I think. So this video specifically is um, to talk about the different groups and everything that I have been with. This video is specifically for the Spice Gang, Queen, Clarence, Patty, I just want to state off and start off with the main thing that kind of broke our relationship off in the first place. One, I Queen Nigel also talked about it and mentions that there wasn't any bad blood. Or my supporters felt like I had bad blood with. Bad blood. And really, it wasn't really no bad blood, y'all, at all with nobody, truly. We may have, like, stopped talking for a little bit, but it wasn't bad blood. It's never going to be bad blood because Queen Nija is a sweet person. She's not the type to have bad blood. She'll probably just not stay in contact with certain people on a regular and that's considered bad blood. But on some shady shit, you, there's no such thing as shady shit when Queen is involved. Sorry, but there isn't. You may argue with me if you want. If you want to, comment below. But there was definitely a issue there. I've never had an issue with Ari. Say what? <laughs> oh my god, that's a lie. Tell lie me. Lie number one, she lied already. Show me. Everybody knows that we would start to get close when we went on the girls trip and everything like that. We started hanging out a little bit more after that, but then we kind of drifted apart. Because we had a <laughs> thing going on. Martin, you're Being so stupid. She explains how she was a really good friend to Ari. Yes, and I always pushed her to, you know, go sing and, you know, do everything she wanted to do always. She's so good. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uplift Ari. And Ari, you know that. You know I always called you my beautiful chocolate bunny. Just stupid. <laughs> Shut up, Martin. Leave her alone. Somebody calls me a beautiful chocolate. Well, a milk pale chocolate bunny and leaves. They basically dive into the past and she explains how she asked the baby mama crew, which contained Neek, Carmen Corey, and Ari to her music video. I had asked Carmen and I had asked Neek and I asked Ari. Could they be in my mom's hand video? Also Damo. Um, and she was there. And Neek was there. <laughs> and I guess everything got misconstrued. Queen originally wanted the whole baby mama crew. So when Queen wanted the whole baby mama crew, um, it was okay. You know, when everybody, all three of the baby mama crew members was able to come, it was okay. Everything <laughs> was perfect. She was like, this is perfect. Martin, y'all, like this is why I like watching him. The way he, his narrative is so unique and so interesting. The way he does things, the way he edits, it takes time to do shit like this. So it takes him, he, he works his ass off. You know he works his ass off and I respect it. But to do, to do stuff like this, you're gonna have a lot of people watching and good job. This is great publicity for you guys. This is something that's, you know, it's, it's good. Everybody's gonna be from this. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be beautiful. I can't wait. She's showing her utmost, just, she was just so excited about it. So, Gary said she could do it at first. Obviously something had came up where she didn't go, but 
it was like not told to me but like just told that the reason why she changed her mind and didn't go was because she didn't want to be in my shadow that's what it basically was and as you guys know Nick and King basically said that it was Aerie's mother who tried to talk them out of being in the music video and they said that Janae said that Aerie said that she didn't want to be in Queen's shadow the next day she was like um all of a sudden oh, she hit, she hit us up. all of a sudden she said i don't think y'all should go so we're like okay why don't you think we should go because everybody's going so we see this thing saying that you know her daughter wasn't going so it's like okay well me and carmen gonna hold it down yeah. you know we're, mm -hmm. yeah. we're gonna hold it down for baby mama crew that's fine <laughs> you go so we thought we were still like excited we're gonna hold it down for the rest of the crew so she was like she was blowing out from the I don't think y'all should go. That's what crazy. Going for? So, you know, she That's was like, crazy. my daughter not going because she got something to do. You know, she was saying, they evil! <laughs> my daughter not Why do people feel the need? Okay, because they feel a certain way, they want everybody in their circle to feel the same exact thing. It's kind of like falling out with a friend, right? When you fall out with that friend, you want your other friends to stop talking to them, even though they're cool with each other. And I understand that some people's way of thinking is, well, if my friends are talking to my enemy, then they're not to be trusted because I'm pretty sure I'm the person that they're talking about when they do get together. Stop being so damn selfish and stop thinking about your damn self. The world doesn't revolve around y'all. It just doesn't. If your drama between your enemy had nothing to do with your friends, let them be friends. Let them. I'm not doing it because of this and because of that because she signed to this and she signed to that. My so daughter what? said that um, she didn't want to be a queen shadow. Now, Janae basically said that they manipulated and twisted everything and that was not the case. That Team Erin and Royalty Squad was already having some issues with each other. Why you don't? already knew this. You already Why knew don't? that some people was trying to put them against each other. You already knew this. And so you all use a moment to benefit yourself manipulated a, a conversation and a situation to benefit y'all that cost a relationship. Janae then explains why she couldn't go to the actual baby mama event. Anybody that understands when you're signed to a different company or a different network or something, you can't just go and do what you want to do. Oh. Because of the fact you're not only representing your brand, you're representing the company that you're connected to. Did her record label, what the record label, whatever the fuck she's talking about, did they tell her not to? Because if that's in contract, then I get it. But for some reason, I highly doubt it. There are so many artists out here collabing, and they all have different record labels. So shut the hell up. So let stop me give lying. You an I stop lying. Ari on her YouTube stuff. Give me your fucking money. <laughs> on that level. Her brand, as far as her music, they have a whole squad that I report to. That she reports to. That I'm not allowed to make a move without even getting clearance from them. And once we get clearance from one person, the ultimate person that put their stamp of approval on it is Rich. It was very time sensitive because of the fact it was coming up and we didn't think it was a problem. So Ari had already committed to Queen that she was coming and everything was good until Ari brought it to my attention that she was going there. I'm like, girl, you can't just do that. You gotta get approval. And we didn't think it was a problem. It's weird because Janae says we didn't think it was a problem, but then she says, oh, until Ari brought it to my attention. So it's like, which one is it? You're not making sense. Did you mean She's that? a liar, y'all. And everybody's stupid to even work with her. She's a straight up scam artist in different ways. And she scams but somehow manages to do things illegally. So she, she, she finds the loopholes and she goes through them, for sure. You needed to ask her or it was, oh, we were cool with it and then she brought it to, like, it just doesn't make sense the way she worded that. Right. That's real interesting. Is she lying or is she telling the truth? I don't know, you guys decide. I call bullshit. Like. But she is basically saying that she did send an email, so that's telling me that maybe she realized after that she needed to get approval. So when we reached out to Rich Team, this is what they said. He said, it was something else before this message, and I know y'all gonna type, try and decipher it. That black marker thing on your iPhone, that crap does not work, <laughs> and I didn't want to leave it because of the fact it was personal information about a different company. 
It's the bomb. The message, it basically says at the end, hey, trying to see if it's a good look for Ari to appear in Queen Niger's music video. Need approval. It's this weekend in Atlanta. That's what I said. But obviously, Nick and King have a different story to it. She was like, don't go to the uh, video shoot. What y'all going there for? She was saying, I bet Queen ain't gonna um, reimburse y'all. I bet she won't do no video with y'all. She just trying to use y'all. Put all this in our head. So, who's like... Now, these two, I do believe. God got us. We still gonna go. We got faith. She don't own you. She don't own you. Do whatever the fuck y'all want to do, okay? Remember, and if she's anyone's manager, remember that she works for you. Y'all don't work for her. You can fire her at any time. Well, depending on what it is, because I'm pretty sure it's still under contract. You all knew that situation. You knew what was going on. You knew she was already getting a whole bunch of bad press about that. And then not only that, you knew that they was already putting Ari against her because they were saying that, well, Ari didn't even respond, so she must know it's true. And then we also was there when Ari tweeted and said she know what it is for real, that it's not like that, that she knows Queen, so next, and she kept moving. I can't remember what that tweet was, but I'm pretty sure Team Ari will find that, but. I wish y'all see him. Ari basically said that she knows that Queen isn't like that. So at this point, it's really he say, she say. I don't know who's telling the truth, and I don't know who's lying. I know who There's to believe. There's no hardcore evidence. There's no receipt of Janae's I don't care. I so read. How can I? I read people really good. I know who to believe. I just take Neek and King's word. You know what I mean? They scam their fans. So I don't know who to believe. It's hard. Who do you believe? Seriously, let me know in the comment section below who do you believe. If anyone could have cleared it up, it was Ari. But Ari said this. I would never want Queen or anybody in the world to genuinely think that I would not be a part of the Mama's Hand video because of... Well then tell me this, Ari. Why did you not call her and explain things to her? Why didn't you explain the situation? Why were there assumptions and things being thrown out there? If the explanation came from you, it wouldn't have been such a big deal. Queen was obviously hurt because you just didn't go. Explain. Everything works out when you talk. Um, easy or jealous. Me and Queen have completely different, two different styles, tied different, completely different. <laughs> She basically implies and made it sound like she wasn't in the music video because they are two different people, two different styles, and two different stories. We have completely different sounds. Our stories are completely different. Our minds, our thoughts are completely different. We have some things in common, which is why we kind of clicked when we were hanging out. But there wasn't any jealousy. Beautiful chocolate bunny. <laughs> Your envy as in why I didn't want to be in the music video. She didn't give like, I didn't go in the video because this person told me to. Or right. I didn't go in the video because I think it would clash with my style. She just wasn't she never said straightforward. That. Right. What? It's, and confirmed with It's still not explained. Ari has not explained it yet. You know what I mean? And it just wouldn't make sense that Janae wouldn't want them in a video because she would have benefited as well right. if they were in Queen's video. Exactly. Why would she sabotage her own business? You know, so it doesn't make sense to me. <coughs> but Ari then says that it was miscommunicated and misinterpreted. You know, and I feel like it was miscommunicated and misinterpreted based off of, you know, Oh my god! See, when you're gonna make a video talking about New Year's, apologizing, this and that, it is so important to go into the proper details because, yes, your little kid fans are gonna believe anything, but people who are critical like me, we're going to question things. We're gonna uh -huh. go, well, why this? Uh, why that? Uh -huh. That doesn't make mm -hmm. sense. It looks like something's hiding because Aerie's too scared to go deeper, name names, Nick and King, for example, and be like, well, why did you lie? You know what I mean? I feel like by the end of the day, who cares what the public thinks? I really hope that she finally explained the situation to Queen in person or privately. As long as you, as long as you let Queen know and understand what happened, that's all good. We don't need to know. And stuff like this, it's very hard, it's very complicated, especially when you don't have people that are willing to sit down with you and talk to you about the whole situation in front of the whole world to see. So they are in that predicament. After that video came out with Nick and King, Aerie saw it obviously, and she tried to contact Queen. You know, life happens and everything like that, and I was hurt when I called, right when I seen, you know, the situation go down and these things were said about me, I called and I kind of got ignored forever. 
You know what I'm saying? Boo, you whore. <laughs> See, Queen took their word for it and ignored Aerie. The good thing about this is that Queen finally admits to this. Maybe I should have went to her first and asked, but I, I automatically had unfollowed Aerie because I just felt like... Say it one more time. <laughs> Maybe I should have went to her first and asked, but I... I automatically had unfollowed Erie because I just felt like... That's the thing though! No, you shouldn't have been the first one. Aerie should have went to you and said, you know what, I'm not going to be able to make it because blah, 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 blah. But since she didn't, then yeah, Queen, you should have reached out and be like, hey, you know, like my feelings are hurt. Like, what happened? Why didn't you come through? You're both fucked up. You know? If you a real friend, you could come to me and tell me and I won't feel no way about it. But right. since I thought what I heard was true, which I should have asked once again, that was wrong on my behalf. I just, I don't know, I unfollowed and then stopped associating with Eric. Because obviously there was an issue. I never had an issue with Ari. There was a problem. It's really good that you're admitting to this. Like, I'm proud of you, Queen. This is a step to growing up, becoming a woman, owning your ish. And you could have contacted her and asked her first. But instead you didn't. You ignored her. Either from outside influences telling you not to talk to her or because of your own insecurity and fear. Regardless, you should have contacted her if you were a good friend. Every day explains her side and how she's always been on Queen's side and really a supporter of her. So I feel like going forward, I just, I want to mention that as well for anybody that kept comparing me with Queen, thinking I was hated. For everybody that know, I have never she dropped medicine and she knows that too. You know? you know what I'm saying? I was there for a lot of dramatic good and bad moments in her life that had happened with me that came around each other. And to back up her claim, there was a video with lovely Mimi doing Aries nails. And this was after all the drama happened and Queen unfollowed her. And Aries still had really good things to say about Queen. Yeah, well, she's going to say good things about Queen because Queen never did her dirty. Queen never did her bogus, never stabbed her in the back, no nothing. What what bad thing is there to say? Aries, you should see him. No, no. She's sweet. She's a good friend. Queen is a good person. She's a good friend. That's so nice of her because if that was me, I'd be like, yes, that's bitch. she ignored me and never called me. <laughs> that's because you believe these two fucking idiots. That's because you're petty. Like, you know what I mean? Or you guys to think that I have any hate in my heart based on somebody's success. Pleasure of meeting you, but I've heard nothing but great things about you. And I understand that is your baby, that is your queen, and you have to ride for her too. But I really wish y'all had answered the phone no. before you made your post. Because if you hadn't answered the phone, you could have got fat. I will look for you. I will find you. It looks to me that the drama sh was, was this girl right here. Mama bear, money hungry, controlling ass manager. This is her, this was the problem. The issue lies with her. You all actually spend time with my baby. You all know how she is. Lee has spent time with Ari. In regards to what everybody thinks and feel about me, Ariana has not been in any drama. Ariana has been faithful what? to these friendships. You always just be like, Ari, you should see him. She's sweet. She yeah. She's a good friend. Actually, we had already stopped talking just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't no bad blood. And it still wasn't no bad blood. It was just like... Queen always talks too much and then she starts <laughs> saying it's just stupid. But anyway, look. The thing about Martin is he's very biased. He does not like Queen and Clarence. He, like, can't stand them. So he's always going to say something bad about him. No, I'm just saying, sometimes you need to articulate. Is that the word? Like, maybe <laughs> write down what you're going to say. I can have that problem sometimes. That's why... When I like that jean issues, jacket, that's though. That's why I have to write it down. Prepare! That's a real nice jean jacket. So I make sure everything's correct. Yeah! But she's like trying to say there was no blood if you unfollow her. But obviously there was an issue because you unfollowed her. First of all, let me just tell you something. Unfollowing doesn't mean like y'all beefing. Just because you unfollow somebody don't mean that you guys are beefing. Oh my god! I don't know, maybe it's just a whole social media thing going on. <laughs> but we wasn't beefing. We wasn't beefed out. We was just... I guess there was a misunderstanding. I never had no issue with Aerie. 
If y'all saw my video reacting to that one right there, unfollowing someone means there's a problem. It just means that way. It's just that's the world that we're living in today. You're wrong. Again. You did have an issue. You felt some type of way because of that video. You let your emotions take over. Oh my god! She's human! <laughs> because you felt the type of way. She's human. And then you unfollowed she her. She was hurt. You have to admit that you listened to what other people said. Your feelings were hurt. And you acted on those feelings instead of talking to Aerie. There was an issue. Hello! <laughs> Um, and we'll discuss it, but she already knows how I felt about the situation. Because we talked about it a while ago. She probably just might need her memory first. What the f*** did she? <laughs> if y'all talked about it, why are you even making this video? For real. I guess to clear it up with fans and stuff. And that goes back to my point. If you're gonna try to do that with your audience, then you need to address everything properly, not half ass things. Because again, you're gonna have people like me who are critical are gonna be like, what about this? What about that? Why did King and. Nick said this about your mom. Was it true? Who's lying? What the hell? So basically, Ari ended up sliding back in Queen Niger's DMs and explaining her side of the situation after Queen Niger asked her what happened with that. And Queen accepted what she said. I mean, I wasn't gonna say, no, you're lying. So that was that. At the time, there was a lot of confusion going on, misunderstandings. And, and it's old news. If y'all want to be friends, be friends. Let that shit go. That's just old. It doesn't even matter now. You made mo plenty more other videos after that. <laughs> Who cares? Then we stopped talking a little bit after that. And then New Year's came. And I, I told Ari, Happy New Year. Happy New Year! <laughs> and then we began to speak. Ari then explains that her feelings were hurt and that she was really offended about the situation. I just don't want to go into this new year and not say that my feelings were hurt and I felt offended and I felt pride that one person made a video about me and all my history, all my respect, all my loyalty were not real. And I'm not saying this video in shade or anger, but I'm just saying expressing how I feel. God bless! See you later! That's the root of a lot of issues, is hurt. It all stems from hurt. When hurt happens, then you become angry, then you become passionate, then your ego kicks in, and your pride kicks in, and that's it, it just ruins everything. If people were more open to speaking about why that other person hurt you, then that other person can probably try to make you feel better and explain their actions to make that hurt go away. <laughs> Pretty much. And going into this new life, I don't want any hate. If I made you, Clarence, feel any type of way from anything that I may have did, from misinformation that you may have gotten, Patty, you know what I'm saying, from all of us, you know, joking and watching scary movie and Clarence's, you know, back at Clarence's in New York, from all these different experiences from my. my I want to go into this new year and I want the spicy game from all of us hanging out in Florida, going to the hotel rooms, having our jokes, having our little drama, you know what I'm saying, for those moments to not be in vain and not to be, oh my gosh, all these bad things about us because I feel like we all had a good time and I'm not making this video for all of us to be best friends. Queen Niger then says that this year she plans, if she has an issue with someone, she will contact them and if they have an issue with her, to contact her. I plan year to just like be more mature about stuff and not run to social media right away um if we got each other's numbers talk to each other you know what i'm saying we can talk to each other if you got a problem with something that i did text me if only life worked that way we all know what we're supposed to do <laughs> it's just not gonna happen that's just life but if you create a good foundation with your friendships then it's possible it could work you know what I'm saying? If I, and same for me. If I have a problem or if I feel like I have any questions about something you said or did, I'll just text you. I got your number. We don't have to do this for social media. Social media can really take things and uh, run with it and make it ten times worse. But being sure. quiet about everything makes it worse. For sure. I'm telling you, it makes it worse. Addressing things is important. You don't have to do it in a negative way. You can do it in a humorous, funny comedic way it really helps heal the heart unless it's petty little ish that doesn't matter 
then don't address it. Sometimes you may even need someone to, who's critical of what you've done to be sitting next to you so you can talk about it and learn sure. from it and grow. But of course, people's egos get away with a lot of things and they don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but anyway, that is what I think about the situation. So let's get this video, guys, to 10,000 likes. Let's get, get, get. All right, we're gonna let that video go. So pretty much this video was an update of all that drama that happened between the two. So, and now it's gotten to the point where they're back to talking and they're good and I think they're friends. I don't know. Well, tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.